Warning, I swear a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to do day four again because I quit before the autosave last time, so that sucks. I'm gonna record it, however, probably gonna skip most of this. Only recording it just in case something funny or spooky happens that we, or at maybe someone dies, that would be relevant information for the rest of the series. Stuff to give you context, but for the most part, I'm just gonna blast through this and then we'll get started with the video. Okay, very good, yes. This meltdown shit is easy now because I understand how to do it. People have been providing fantastic advice and I appreciate it and hopefully I remember enough of it to actually apply it to the situations I find myself in. But I'll see you guys on the other side. I see, I see, okay. That's done. There we go, okay, we're ready for this, we're ready for this. We were re we're ready for this. We've practically got everyone here. Send him to take that thing out. Okay, come on, boys. You've got him. You've got him. Don't worry about it. He's a chump. You're a champ. Show him the difference. There's a lot of blood. There's a lot of blood. Go on, shoot him. Fuck. Anastasia died. Shit. <sighs> Bollocks. I think it's because Papa Dai entered into a meltdown as the task started, and then I think Arang didn't do a very good job. Ah, we kind of need the full team to deal with uh, Papa Dai if it goes wrong. Just to put it down quickly enough that it doesn't kill anyone. It is what it is. Balls. At least she was only level one. I like how the situation has been resolved, but the music is still like, ah, things are a problem right now. Bollocks. Furthermore, bollocks. I have turned down the visual quality instantly, ladies and gentlemen, because I was having a lot of capture issues. If I can... Oh, hello. Okay. If I continue to have capture issues, I'll just turn it back up, because there'd be no point in maintaining it if it's a problem. If it's, if it's already a problem anyway. But, you know. But we do need these Q meltdowns, otherwise... Someone very uh, helpfully pointed out that instead of trying to say... <laughs> just say Q. And I was like, you know what, that's good. Yeah, I'm going to do that from now on. You head in there, because he might need the help. Or they might need the help. We don't know. They'll probably need the... I don't know, it's going quite well. But it's good to be careful anyway. Oh, right, of course. Because there's um, blood down there. They get upset. Yeah, that's why we want to stay away from the pop die for the rest of this. Because that corridor is filled with gore. She got the hat, though. She got it. She got it. She got the hat. Excellent. All right, she has more SP now. Very good. This is very, very good. Yeah. So presumably, the moment we achieve that objective, we're good to go, and we don't- we can just end the day immediately, like... Yeah, that's cleared. I just end the day. Yeah, yeah, we did it. We lost someone, and that sucks, but... There was only so much we could do about that, and at least it was only a level one. Alright, we're good to go. Excellent. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Lobotomy Corporation. So this was very well received and I was really pleased to see that actually because it's a fascinating game. People are talking a lot about how this developer has put out a lot of really cool games and I have very, very briefly sort of scanned through some of their other stuff and it looks really interesting. Apparently something really cool is on the way as well. But upon releasing this and like you guys all flooded in with like saying stuff and watching it and it was really cool. It got a lot more views than I thought it would, but I, may, I would have appeared to have disappeared for about three days. And that's because as part of my new job, I had to stay at a hotel around the south of England so that we could do jobs from like from there instead of driving down there every single day. So I was basically away from my computer, away from anything channel related for about three days. And there was nothing I could do, which annoyed me, but it's part of the job, whatever. Point is, though, I'm back now. We're going to be going full steam ahead on everything, and it's going to be great. And I'm excited. Our founder, A, Adam, has said this to me many a time. Each successful explore experiment makes you a better person. I don't know about that at all. The greatness of this company was founded on multitudes of trials and hardships. So you too shall become great. Well, we just lost someone, so... <laughs> Each day in the company is another small experiment towards shaping your life for the better. How has your day been today? Well, of course it was fine. Let's spare the pleasantries, no? Okay. Manager, how has your life been? Uh, I love how generally negative these answers are. Yeah, uh, nothing spectacular. It's just okay. 
Leading a normal life could be considered an achievement in this day and age. Although one can always improve the quality of their life, true. This is a simple metaphor, but... The seed of a tree will not grow just anywhere. It requires fertile soil, the right temperature, and fresh water. However, most seeds fall on barren soil. For those malfallen seeds, stretching out their roots and sprouting even small leaves are challenges full of pain. I cannot provide you with water or sunlight. However, I will do my best to tend to the soil. Oh, this is a good metaphor. I appreciate it. Oh, hello. Fucking hell. Okay. Yes, Zod, who I'm assuming is on the left, is like, we need to be honest here, Malkuth. You simply cannot suppress the ordeals with the employees you currently have at your disposal. Trust me, I am the head of the information team. Even if your team were to suppress the ordeals on their own, there's too great a risk of extreme mental damage to your employees. But yes, Sod, we only need to consider the mortality rate of the agents and the possibility of the abnormalities breaching. Uh, your name is Hod, I suppose. Malkith, Lady Angelus said that one crazy employee will kill ten others. I am the Sephiroth. I, I am the Sephiroth of the control team. I may make outrageous mistakes in all other aspects, but this role I know better than anyone else. I know how to handle employees on the verge of insanity. I even wrote down a code of conduct for it. Honestly, it feels like I'm the only one who follows the guide. Am I wrong? Please tell me if you happen to need it. I can always share a copy with you. Is that a subtle burn? Uh, I'm fine, but that code of yours... I don't need weak employees in my department. Weakness means elimination, the death of your place in my department. To work for the control team, the department that leads the co corporation signifies that you should be more capable than everyone else. Manager, please say something to them. You've been watching what's happened to those weak-willed employees from the comfort of your office, haven't you? Well, yeah. Can any of you guys say something? Well, thanks so much for visiting me. It's made me so happy. We should meet up again sometime. All of us up a Sephiroth. Okay. Uh, I, I have an announcement to the Sephiroth of the upper layer. The mental corruption levels of the control team's employees exceeded the maximum threshold. And just what did the other Sephiroth do in the meantime? Sit and watch? Fuckers. The control team has failed to handle the ordeals. Supplement the staff immediately and suppress the ordeals. I'll ask for support from the other departments. What's an ordeal? Complete a dusk ordeal. As the Q deterrence weakens, the abnormalities will begin to grow agitated. Certain things we call ordeals, which we cannot contain, will go into a rampage, just as they are right now. Could you calm down the employees by suppressing one of the ordeals that shows up at dusk? I'll help you with it as soon as I can. What's an ordeal? I thought I understood this game. I thought I was there. I th well, not there, you know, there's obviously more of the game to do, but I thought I understood things, and now I don't. You'd like to expand the control department, yeah. Presumably, this is the last one. What's an ordeal? What's that all about? Is it like the old lady's shadows? The solitude? Or is it something I just straight up haven't seen yet? Okay, so we need a new employee. Ah, oh, Mika! You're a fun-looking person. So I have two lob. This would cost one lob. That would bring it up to two. That would bring it up to two. Oh, that would bring it up to two. That would bring it up to two. And that would bring it up to four. Wow, why? Okay. I'll give you temperance. It'd be good to have someone who can... I mean... Uh. Honestly, justice would be the best one because it's the thing we're kind of... We didn't get... Oh, we have the maximum amount of... Uh, 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 abnormalities for this place. Must be past day 20. Complete a dusk or do Wait, we're not on day 20. We're on, like, day 5. Okay, so I'm not gonna do this for a while then. Okay, I don't have to worry about it right now. Alright. Well, I assume I don't. I'll keep an eye out for dusk or deals, but I don't know what they are. Come on in, Mika. In you come. There we go. Now let's get the equipment sorted. I didn't show this last time, and I should have. We'll get Mika a gun. We'll get Mika a gun. She has a gun now. She is armed. But yeah, I did last time I didn't show equipping people with clothing and uh, weapons, and I should definitely do that this time. And we'll give her the puppy suit, I guess. Oh no, wait. Yep. Yeah. And then Devona can have this. Teth is better than Zayn. Marinel. Yui can have the we weakest shit because he's the weakest. Now, what about those weapons? We've got a bunch of those. We've got s two guns. Okay. 
All right, yeah, we're good to go. Okay, so as far as I can tell, because it must be past day 20 to complete a Dusk Ordeal, this is going to be a standard day, so let's just make it happen. Greatest Ordeal. Okay. Yeah, we're good to go. All right. So we've got all the same people, all the same animals, all the same things. They're not animals, they're abnormalities. I know what I meant. This should be easy. It should, 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 should be easy. So I want to have a look at Devona real quick. Where is she? Devona, I need to see you. Uh, there you are. Prudence went up. Let's start by trying to do this. And we'll send the new girl down to talk to one sin. And then we'll send everyone else to go stand outside Teresia. And I want to see if Devona can get a little more something something out of this thing. There we go. She's good. Okay. Do we learn anything new about Teresia? Technically, yes. There are a few phrases crudely carved on its surface. Do you remember this melody? The professor used to play this song when the students were sleepy. Happy birthday. But there's no information. So... I don't know, but we're nearly there, I guess. Okay, um, it'd be worth trying to get some of these people unique equipment. That'd be handy, so send Mika back in there. And before you know it, we'll have already gotten enough energy to pass the day. Now that I know more about what I'm doing, these should, when there are problems, go a lot quicker. They should. We'll see if they do. I keep forgetting that there's not really, like, a time limit, per se, when nothing's happening. It's not like, oh, I've got to do it quick before something goes wrong. Things go wrong as a result of what I do, so... Really, I should you chill out. No, it's fine. Where are you going? Why don't you return to the fucking room instead of up? Ugh, whatever. My point is that I don't need to be constantly worrying that I'm not doing things. I just need to wait. The workday doesn't randomly end. Things will not randomly attack, to my knowledge. I just need to make sure I'm making the right decisions. Uh, you've got all your shit, and we could buy something. Let's get your paws. Yeah, could upgrade our melee weapons. I want to get more of the guns, or as many of the guns as I can, because it provides us with a ranged option when subduing abnormalities, which seems like a good idea. So, Devona, I want you to go down there and try that again. I don't think you're going to unlock anything new today, but we could try. I still can't tell if that, um threshold for unlocking new observation levels on Teresia is to do with total amount of time spent listening or the amount in one go. Probably amount in one go, but I don't know. We're going to have another meltdown soon, so we're going to want to be ready. Okay, yeah, she's freaking out. That's fine. We've got you covered. Devona, don't worry about it. You've been through a lot, actually. Been through a fair bit. Oh, shit. You know what? Cancel that order, actually. We don't need anyone going in there right now. Um, Mika, go over there instead. You guys, go upstairs. I should keep an eye on old lady, though. We need to be careful about that. In fact, I should read up on some of her stuff. Okay, what is it? Papadai, we've got that covered. Okay, Orang, in you go. Everyone else, hang around just in case. Once one sin and hundreds of good deeds is done, we should be just done for the day, really. That should be it. Yep, we're done for the day. Mika, head down here so the day doesn't end in disaster. Oh, that's just going perfectly. Oh, everything's fine. We're doing great. Oh, no, no problems at all. Lovely. Everyone go back upstairs. There's nothing to spend money on or BP boxes, whatever the fuck. Uh, congratulations all round for a solid day's work because I can't do the Dusk Ordeals yet. S rank, nine lob reward, one promoted. Uh, it's a good day. Hey, that's a good day. Yep, proceed to the next day. Let's do this. Hi, right. I'm having a good time. Clearly things are going to get more problematic. The music is already ominous. Oh, right. Yeah. People have been committing sins since long ago. Why do they commit sins knowing it's wrong? That one's been popping up a lot. It's a good day. Are you still shy today? What's really pitiful is people like you dying to the likes of me. I have a feeling this is foreshadowing. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> See what's that all about. As you are aware, they are n there are numerous employees working for our company. A majority of them would like to know more about you as a person. Why? I'm not interesting. Some will take the initiative and attempt to approach you first, and then you spray them with the water and they go away like, fuck off, go on. It's rather funny knowing who you are will not do anything to improve their odds. 
There are no regulations to prevent them from coming all the way to your office to interact with you face to face, unfortunately. Well, surely I can set a rule or a code of conduct that would prevent that. Seems the one who set up those rules in place did not consider situations like this. And I suppose this may be a good opportunity for you to show them that you are generous and caring enough to have chit chats with your subordinates. Words tend to travel faster than you think. But please keep in mind that you do not have to do everything they ask of you. Simply thank them for their effort. You know, like a real manager. Tell them that you hope they will keep up the good work. That will benefit both parties, don't you think? Are you still following me? What they, we, need is a gesture of goodwill and nothing more. Do not go overboard and listen to whatever nonsense they have to say. Give them a vending machine and next they will come knocking, demanding a bar. I see. I expect you to make the right decision. You're not my boss. Fuck off. Ooh, information team. Control team's fully expanded. We go to the information team now. I am in charge of the information team and its department. I'll give you a proper greeting later. Are you planning to open up the information department before starting the day? I don't think there's anything else I can do, is there? No. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Okay, information team, let's go. Is this gonna be a whole group of new employees? Am I focusing on individual areas or am I controlling the whole thing? Questions. I have them. No one is answering my questions. The game will probably do it by itself. Ah, so I have to reassign employees or hire new ones for the information team. I should be reading the team descriptions, holy shit! Department functions, clerk benefits, increased movement speed for all agents, continued service benefits, increased movement speed for the department's agents. Oh, team description. The control team monitors the employees and abnormalities and plans out the best course of action. They give immediate orders to other employees while watching the CCTV feeds. They tend to be quite bossy and assertive, making them unpopular with other teams. The information team analyzes the abnormalities, profiles them, and devises solutions to issue to issues the abnormalities may cause based on the data. They are in charge of collecting, analyzing, and archiving observation data and interview logs provided by the welfare team. The vast library of data is the basis for finding solutions to various problems encountered in the energy harvesting process. They often conduct experiments to determine the consistency and safety of the solution. All of the invaluable information could be gathered thanks to long-term observations and numerous sacrifices made by the team, not armchair theory theorizing as some suspect, is what they asked us to write here. Fascinating. So, I guess that's the question, really. Do we reassign people from the control team or do we hire new ones? I'm going to hire new ones. Let's hire new ones. Oh, Anthony. Yeah, why not? Guess someone who's good at justice because we don't know when that's going to become necessary. Surely insight would be best for, I don't know, Maxwell. Yep, come on in. And Chloe. Chloe. Chloe, come on in. Yes, and we've got three lob left to spend. Let's focus on making these guys slightly better because I don't know how well they're going to do. Chloe, you're going to mess people up. That is my job for you. And Anthony, you could probably do something other than that. Oh, you... No, that's not what I clicked, though, is it? Yeah, there we go. Cool. So they have means of dealing with different problems. So we have no missions for the information team. We only have a mission for the control team, but it's a, t a job we can't do until we get to day 20. Oh, ego. Yes, ego, ego, ego. Yeah, just to make sure everything's fine here. We're going to give... Yeah, we'll give one of the information team one of our best weapons, just to... Because they're lower rank and they need... They need the help. They need the help. Ego suits. Okay, now I suspect things are going to get a lot more complicated, but let's see what we can do. Begin management. Okay. Oh, boy. So, do does the information team just work the same way as um, my control team? Do the agents just work the same way? Can we... I, get, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Apparently, there's a dawn ordeal today. I did see that, but I forgot to mention it, so we're going to need to consider that. We don't know anything about... We don't know what this abnormality is. Oh, God, it's a crazy person. Okay. I guess this is what I deserve for picking the seemingly most violent abnormality I could find. So if we were to go, I don't know, repression. Okay, and this can only be the information team. Oh, we can send people from the control team down here. I'm going to send Anthony. And we're going to have... Yep, yeah, send you through. Good. And then we're going to have everyone else here the information team, 
ready to do something about it in case things go wrong. Uh, this thing bothers me. Focus. Okay. That's not going well. Anthony senses despair. It doesn't look like repression is going very well. In the darkness, its brain slowly rotted. That is actually just going terribly. Like, uh, we've not gotten a single positive... Fucking Anthony's dead. My subordinate has died because of your incompetence. Nothing will be able to compensate for the employee's death. Fuck. Well, that's a start, isn't it? Alright, well, if I may offer a suggestion, maybe we don't go for, um... Repression on that thing in the future. Alright, fine. You wanna play it that way? We can play it that way. We need to find out what that thing is. We can't just have it sit there doing nothing. We need to just... Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Where the fuck did it go? I looked away for a second. That's not good. All hands. Fucking all hands. Oh, it's still in its room. What the hell is on its head? You're gonna die. Oh, she survived. I need other team members down there immediately. We don't know how strong this thing is. I mean, they hit it. It's too busy chasing her, but she left. So now they're fighting it. Ugh. Guys, guys, guys. I'm so glad you got it so quickly. Get in there and sort it out before it kills someone. Quick, 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 quick. Fuck. Beat the fuck out of it. Go on, take it down. Take it down. Did someone die? Anthony... Oh, no, it was... Anthony's fine. Anthony's dead. Anthony's not fine. He's dead. But... Go on, take it out. Oh, God. Maxwell and Marinelle just died. Fuck. Oh, Yui's dead. Oh my god. Okay, well, it's back in its cell now. And it reaped a bloody toll. Jesus Christ. What is that thing? Alright, well, going by what people at home have said, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try- I'm gonna spend this uh, attempt, as it were, to figure out something about that thing. And then we'll go back and try this again. This is gonna need to be a control team job, because... Um, the information team just isn't strong enough. We should have cut the, uh, information team's teeth on, like, one sin and the old lady to just get them up to speed and send the control team down to deal with the new one. That's what I should have done. But I didn't think we'd get such a bad result immediately. What a little bastard he is. He seems to prefer instinct treatment as opposed to suppression. Suppression was a bad idea. God damn, what a creepy bastard. Bastard? I'm losing it. What a creepy bastard. Okay. That was successful. Now let's use this opportunity to learn something about it before we try this again. So, instinct work. High, and then it goes to common at higher observation levels, it seems. Let's find out about repression. Oh, that was a mistake. Repression was a mistake. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Retry the day. Because we lost like four or five people. It was a complete disaster. And we're going to do this differently this time. Information team will go deal with the with one sin and the old lady because it's easy. Oh god, do I have to do this again? No, everyone's equipped. Okay, good. Let's quickly check the ego list though and make sure. So gun goes to Devona and Mika. Now Devona has low health and Mika has even lower health. Yes, this works. Okay, well I've done that as best I can. All right, everyone's got clothing. Everyone's got a weapon. We're going to do this a little differently this time. I thought this was going to be simple. It was not. Okay, so. One sin, hundreds of good deeds. Attachment training, information team. Maybe, maybe, Chloe has a good chance to be successful with pop dice, so we'll send them. Um, 
Let's get that out of the way first, and then we'll try T01 and we'll send Orang with the entire control team backing him up to make sure it doesn't go wrong. That's how we'll do it. Now, maybe we should send the control team to back up whoever's going with uh, Pop Die just to make sure that doesn't go wrong. Because then they'll be in position to go down to T01 anyway. And then we can use the information team perhaps to handle any meltdowns that occur. So. Chloe, we've Chloe, we've kind of thrown you in the deep end, but you seem to be doing alright, so that's okay. We don't know anything about T01. I'm suspecting it's probably higher than Teth. I'm, assu I'm assuming it's an entirely new level of abnormality, and it's good. It's it's powerful. It's really powerful. Yep, that went great. Okay. And an old lady's gonna be fine. Okay, so let's send Orang. Down to T01. Orang's going, and we'll send the entire control team to back him up. We've got everyone there, re fucking Orang, please. You need to do a better job. If that thing gets angry, you're dead. Uh. Okay. In the meantime, we just need energy to complete the day. We should wait till this is over because our next work action will result in a meltdown. So we need to make sure we have people ready to go when that happens. Especially if T01 decides to have a meltdown. Oh, Orang, it's not going well. It was no longer rage, but a deeper and more twisted maniacal abhorrence that felt- Oh, Orang, please. Don't die in there. I, I beg you. Oh, Orang. Oh, it's not going well, is it? You're gonna die, aren't you? Please don't. They survived. Orang needs to go recover. We're gonna leave the control team here until this finishes so we can see what's going on with T01, because if it decides to break out... You guys, get in there as well. If, if T01 breaks out, we need to be ready. We need everyone. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Well, Orang can't get involved right now because if I'm right, that would have damaged them. Hang on, I'll check a work order to find out. Orang, yeah, Orang's wounded. Like, we can't send them down there. Be its ass immediately. Ugh, be its ass immediately. Be its ass immediately. They are absolutely kicking the fuck out of it. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Take it down quick. Take it down quick. Everyone's hitting it. Fuck, who went down? Devona! Fuck! Wait, is everyone panicking? First trumpet? I don't know. Everyone seems fine. Just get back in there. God, we lost Devona. Shit. Ah. And we learned fuck all about T01 as well. We got five. Which doesn't tell us anything we don't already know. Oh, actually, it could. It could. Could. Insight? Common. Fuck. That does nothing for us. All right, Orang. I'm going to send you back in with T01 because we need to find out what's going on with that thing. Oh, well, he needs time. Okay, he needs time. Uh, I just don't know what to do about this bastard. Like, I know people have said, like, don't be afraid to retry and whatever, but I don't want to just keep mashing the retry button every time something goes wrong because that's just... It's not interesting. That's not fun. That's boring. I'll mash it if we're just completely caught off guard, but after a certain point, if I fuck up, I fuck up, and that's it. We just have to live with the decision. All right, so kill Q meltdown. One sin, hundreds of good deeds. We can send someone from the uh, the information team. I'll keep everyone in the room next to T01 because there's a corpse down there and that upsets people. So we're going to want to be chill about it. Orang is doing exceptionally well. Even if they were all negative from this point onwards, which actually looks like they're going to be. No, it's cool. By the way, that would have been fine. There we go. We have half the energy. Okay. I really wish that I'd gone to 12 so I could learn more about this thing, but there are more important things to learn. Common across the board. Starts high, then gets low. And then repression is just bad. Don't even bother with repression. Okay. We need someone to go check in on old lady, I just realized. Maxwell, go do that. 
We're gonna need to raise a new Prudence agent to try and check out Theresia because Devona's dead. Okay, Chloe's not happy. All right, well, we're ready. Yeah, just, sh oh my gosh, she was fighting back. She was fighting back. She was attacking in return. So she wasn't just panicking, she was angry. What are you on your way to? I don't even remember, whatever. This looks like it's about to kick off, so uh, that's a thing. Go on, Orang. Yeah, you got it. Yep, that's fine. That worked out. Okay, everyone go back to your respective places while I think about what the fuck we're going to do next. Apparently, it's dawn, so an or ordeal will be taking place. Just keep a look around, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what an ordeal is. I, all I know is it's bad. Good deeds is fine. He's not doing anything wrong. Uh, we didn't... Oh, we did learn more about Theresia. Listening to this music box will make anyone feel like everything will be okay in the end, lifting their fatigue. However, excessive listening will make one lose grip on reality and be driven mad. Okay, so we finished... Oh, you know what? I don't think I'm going to check in on Theresia ever again. Because that thing is a pain. Killed one of my agents in a past life. Uh, we're practically going to beat this... Yeah, we've already beaten the day, but I want to learn more about... TO1 before we end because at the moment TO1's a serious risk and I don't know anything about him and I need to figure out what's going on with him before we can move on to taking care of a new abnormality because fuck that thing is fully capable of killing one if not multiple agents and we can't have that so basic information what do we got forsaken murderer cool good seems great let's just get that so we have it so at higher levels, the thing is, does this, when it says work list, does this account for higher observation levels or is this a different thing entirely when it goes from high to common? Is that work levels? Can I check the manual and find out? I don't know. I can't find anything confirming that. So I'll just have to leave it for now. We did forsake a murderer again. He's a Teth, which I guess makes sense. I thought he might be a higher level, but nah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The, no, I didn't get to read it. I was pausing so I could read it. All I saw was the dawn of understanding. What's going on in here? What the fuck is that? All hands. D deal with it, I suppose. What the fuck? And there was a meltdown, wasn't there? Oh, there's one up there too. Fuck. Go deal with that. Destroy it. Destroy it. Is, that, is it anywhere else? Anywhere else? They're dealing with that up there. Okay, this seems to be fine. I'm confident these guys could deal with it. They've got a rang with them. He's quite powerful. Please take it down. Is it healing? In the future, I suppose we could just... They've destroyed it. Okay, good. Uh, and in the future, we could ignore that entirely, actually. If we've... They, comply, they complied with nothing in their bid to understand. They simply did so. What does that mean? I don't understand. That was a dawn ordeal. It wasn't even a dusk ordeal, so it doesn't count as the control team mission, which is really annoying, actually, because I could have done with that. But, you know, I can't actually do that till day 20, so it's worthless. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. <sighs> Still want to find out more about the Forsaken Murderer before we wrap up for today. Not in the video, but this work day. Because I need to see. I need to know. I need to know what's going on with this thing. Oh, a question actually for you guys while I'm at it, because I did take a quick glance at the story stuff for these, um, for the abnormalities, and they are very in-depth and very detailed. I haven't gone through them properly yet, even in my off time. I'd be happy to read through them, like, because it's interesting information, but the question is, do you guys want to hear that, see that, hear me reading it, whatever? And if you do, should it be done during these videos, or should I just make little mini videos where I read them? Because it takes a long time to read through it. Like, there's a lot there, so I figure maybe if that's its own separate video, then people who aren't interested don't have to sit through it. 
and and listen to me read it and those who do can just watch that video and it'll be fine let me know what you think because it, there's obviously a lot going on if you guys don't care or if you just don't want to hear it or whatever i'll just read it in my own time and it's not a big deal but i uh yeah i wasn't sure what to do about that in terms of the video itself so i just wanted to know what you guys thought uh, it's no big thing uh whatever i'm just doing my best I should get people who aren't doing stuff to go there because that's about to pop off. You guys, okay, you guys should go down there. Control team, sort that out. Oh, uh, Arang, I thought you were going to do better than this. Oh, Arang, I thought you were going to do better than this. Oh, Arang. All right, fuck it. Fuck it. We got work orders. Cancel them. Cancel them. Cancel everything. Everyone get ready. Everyone get ready. Get down there and get ready, because that thing's about to break out. You know what? I just realized something. Ah. A regret. That's a cool thing. How about, instead of dealing with the Forsaken Murderer's breakout, we just end the fucking workday? <laughs> Why deal with that? Why bother? Uh, why not just ha live a happy life where that doesn't happen to us? Mika got to level two. I'm very happy. One promoted. But Devona died, and that's really bad. Okay, next workday. Fucking hell. It's not worth sacrificing more employees just to attain a greater understanding of TO1 right now. I know it's actually called Forsaken Murderer, but I think I prefer calling it TO1. What do we got here? Somewhere in the distance, you can hear seagulls. Everything will be peaceful while you are under the fairy's care. This is a recording of the day we must never forget. I like the idea of the seagulls. I want to know what that's all about. Sounds interesting. The energy output of our facility is ever increasing. You have proven that you are much more capable than you originally perceived yourself to be. The higher echelon is watching you. Our founder, A, is among them. He's still alive, is he? Or they? I don't know. What do you know about A? A, he is a visionary. Okay, gender confirmed. A farmer who sowed seeds on a virgin soil no one had approached before. In time, he may express interest in meeting you in person. If that happens, you're fucked. Myself? Well, of course, I highly admire him. But to be fair, he is the one who created me, so an ever so slight amount of bias, I suppose. He is also an enigmatic person. I imagine there are few who can truly understand him. Is this just Giovanni from Pokemon, basically? In fact, to truly understand anyone is difficult. Will the day come that I understand you completely? Doubtful. I'm a complex human being with my own little caveats and quirks. Hey, Asod. How's it going? Why are you wearing a turtleneck with a suit? Looks kind of dumb. Manager, you're the head of this corporation. You're supposed to set an example for others, but that outfit would warrant at least 10 penalty points in our department. Well, your department fucking sucks, mate, compared to the control team, so I don't know what the fuck your problem is, buddy boy. The manager should be no exception, however the rules state that a Sephira has no authority to impose penalty points on the manager, so I must let you off for now. Fuck off. I am Yasod, the Sephira of the Information Team. The Information Team is in charge of processing and archiving all the data of our company. New information is generated every day, and we need to ensure that the information is accurate, so we must concentrate and focus on our job at all times, and not worry about things like fashion, you fucking bellet. Yeah, I did criticize him first, but shut up. It may be compared to a massive bibliotheca. Fuck, man, I've actually never heard of that word before. A single bit of misinformation could lead to an uncontrollable disaster. Well, true. I am sure you can understand the gravity of my work. Every sliver of the information that you read contains the despair and desperation of our employees. Please do not think lightly of that information. It seems you are curious about my outfit. Yeah, it's dumb. I have an aversion to exposing any part of my body. Okay, that makes more sense. Except for your face, obviously. I don't exactly remember when I started feeling this way, but it's likely that I've been this way even before I joined the company. Who the fuck are you? So, do you have any spare paper? A department could use some. Netzak, the rules state that we're not supposed to trade resources between teams. It should be in the very first page of the Sephira manual. Alright, alright, stop. Fucking miss whatever. Mm. Well, I'm heading out. Not in the mood to get bitten today. What are you trying to say with that expression of yours? Is this entertaining to you? Does the nickname make you laugh? My apologies, I overreacted a bit. The other Sephiroth simply used my nickname as a joke. 
but others use it in a more serious manner. I know there are many employees who genuinely despise me. Can't imagine why. Nicknames may be a childish thing, but there's no better way to describe a person in such few words. I personally like my nickname. That's good. If you're going to have a nickname, you may as well like it. I know someone who had a nickname they fucking hated. And to this day, I tried to respect their wishes by not referring to them as it, but they were called that for so goddamn long that it's omnipresent in my brain. And I have to make a concerted effort to not call them by their nickname. It's not fair. They're a nice person. So I have to, I do my best to make that effort, but it's just heavily ingrained. What's your opinion, manager? I like the sound of it. Uh, what was it, Viper? It's a cool, it's a cool nickname. Seems we're in agreement then. I should get going now. Fucking bye. I need to finish today's work. Well, yeah. Oh, and I must send you the next assignment. The information team is always in need of more data on the abnormalities. At this point in our research, we need more testing of instinct work. Instinct work directly resolves an abnormality's primal instinct to drive. That's good, because we do a lot of instinct work anyway. All right, let's expand the information team. And we need to hire a new agent, because, um... Devona got fucking bodied by T01. We've unlocked a new slot in the um, information team as well, so that's helpful, but... Um, yeah, we have two log points. We hire two employees, I guess. Miho? Miho! Miho! My dude! You look like an information guy. He looks he's smart. Yeah. Come on in, Miho. And Joel. Joel, my friend. Come to the control team. All right. Ego list. Let's see what we got. Someone's going to need a gun. Your health is bad, your health is worse. You get the gun, so you don't get slapped. We have actually run out of weapons. Wow. I need to start producing more weapons. Okay. Ego suits. Um, you're going to be using a gun, you can have that. And Miho, uh, you're going to need all the help you can get. Are we truly out of weapons? Do we actually have enough? Oh, we have nothing left. Okay, wow. Jeez, I didn't know that. All right, day seven. A d ordeal at dawn, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. And uh, four instinct works. Easy. <laughs> you sod the viper. Cool name. All right, let's have a look. We don't have to worry about anything right now. What the hell? Are those shrimps? Is that a vending machine? Okay. All right, well, we'll start by sending Orang down to T01. Orang seems to be doing all right. Yeah, Orang's doing fine. Well, probably fine. Probably fine. Orang, oh, Orang, come on, please. Okay, good. As long as it's not red, we're okay. If it goes red, he attacks, which is a problem. Fuck, it's getting, oh, oh. Okay, that's fine. All right, now we need to figure out something about FO5. That went okay. Now, FO5 is clearly going to be like a teth or higher, right? Like, it's almost guaranteed. We need to take this seriously. But the question is, do we send someone good with the knowledge that they'll probably die? Or do we send someone shit as a sacrifice to try and learn more? I think we send someone shit to try and learn more. We'll send Anthony to do attachment work. And we will monitor this situation. Anthony will probably die, but Anthony is something we can afford to lose. Although he is a level two employee, so that's not great. The vending machine overwhelms Anthony. You're really missing out if you've never tried shrimp. Oh, it's not going well. I hope you don't die. You know what? Oh, you're drinking the soda. You seem to like the soda. You were happy about drinking it. Okay, well, let's... Is this supposed to be a helpful one? Because this is all very easy to do. Okay, instinct work. Hi. Hi. Interesting. In okay. So what's the catch? I assume if you drink too much of that soda, it's bad. Interesting situations. I'm hoping FO5 turns out to be helpful, but we'll see.
We want to work on FO5 because we definitely want to learn what it's all about. And it seems to be relatively easy, but they get a drink. She seems to like the drink. Ah, so attachment and repression are common, but insight and instinct are high. Okay. Well, we can learn a little bit about guidelines. Upon completion of the work process, a canned beverage is discharged from the vending machine. The type of beverage that is emitted seems to vary in correlation with the work type. Test result W1. A red drink, drink can is emitted. That's probably instinct. The employee who ingested the beverage said it had a distinctive aroma and sweetness and expressed a feeling of heightened energy after. Following the test, the physical health of the subject was confirmed. Interesting. We we'll want to work with um, FO5 a lot more then, just to figure out what's going on here. There's got to be a catch. I don't want to send the same employees in there over and over again, so we'll try instinct with uh, Maxwell. Just go in there and see what you can do. But the murderer is the most <sighs> immediately aggressive specimen. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, my capture crashed multiple times. I attempted to plow through, but the capture just kept crashing. And while this happened, the uh, dawn ordeal that occurred completely wiped out my team. So I completely died and had to start again. But luckily I was able to continue from day seven. Like I quit the game and came back and I was able to start again at day seven, which is better than I could have hoped for. I thought it was gonna send me back to day six. So that's good, I'm happy. Let's try this again. We need to get four instinct works and we just generally need to do our thing and survive. The new, abnormality seems to be fairly benign so that's good but we still need to learn more about it otherwise things are going to go horribly wrong so i want to send someone there to do instinct work i'm thinking maxwell fuck it so we've got like four or five works before things go wrong so we want to send someone to the old lady so she doesn't do that thing that she does we'll send mio because they can do it and so one two three and then this would be four we'll send someone from the inf information team to do the pop die, because I think they can. We'll send Chloe, because she's quite good. Okay. We've got this. Airing's fine. We've already succeeded with FO5, so that's really good. Let's get the basic information. Yeah, well cheers. I remember now it's called well cheers. Okay then. Shouldn't take long to learn everything about that. The Forsaken Murderer is gonna take a little bit longer though. Nevertheless, Orang's doing quite well. I hope they get a promotion soon, because the entire company kind of rests on their shoulders at the moment. So if the ordeal shows up again, this time we're going to want to set it up so all of our team members are fighting one ordeal. Like we're going to want to dogpile them, basically. Okay, so we got all of this. Managerial guidelines. It's just when the work result was bad, the cliff off counter went down, which is a shame. We'll want to get the escape information as soon as we can. But we've only got one more work job thing before we have another meltdown, so we're going to want to pick this carefully. Popadai, oh, Chloe, you're doing an exceptional job. Wow, that was really good. It was like one off top. 20, uh, we'll get more clothes, more clothes. So we always have enough clothes. You're doing old lady. We'll go in with well cheers again, instinct, and we'll send Anthony, send Anthony in. We do need more weapons. I found that we were running out of weapons. So working with Popadai will be handy for that. Oh, yeah. Theresia. Okay. We'll send Mika to go just sort that out, and it's all good. We've done three of the four instinct works, because a lot of our abnormalities are actually instinct heavy at the moment, so that's helpful for that. I've accumulated half the energy. Things are going well. Well, while everything's chill, let's send Orang back in to talk to the Forsaken Murderer. Fucking, I'm sure that'll go well. Caution, when the work result with opened can of World Cheers is bad, do not take any drink provided by the vending machine. Okay, so there is risk. That's not surprising. Chloe should be alright with it, though. Should be okay. Old lady's getting sad, let's... Wait, Meek. Oh god! Oh fuck! Shit. I forgot, Mika was talking to the thing. Uh, suppress Mika. Suppress Mika, quick. We, oh God, I, oh, suppress Mika, quick. That's not going well. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, uh, Forsaken Murder is getting pissed off, so everyone, 
there. The old lady's fucking gone off the deep end, so we're not going to bother with that place anymore. Hopefully we don't have a meltdown that sends us there. Everyone, everyone, literally everyone. I'm going to zoom out. Everyone, get ready to deal with the murderer, because he's about to fucking flip. And it gets real spooky when he do. But if we have the entire team, I think we'll be okay. We've got Orang. Is he going to do it? Yeah, he's doing it. Okay. Everyone saw him out. Get ready. Just beat his ass. Fucking crush him. Marinella's died. Fuck. Ah, okay. Well, everyone go back to your respective stations. We'll take some time to rest. What a fucking pain. At least he didn't immediately murder whoever was sent in there with him, because Orang went in there, didn't do a very good job. And, um... Yeah, could have just killed him on the spot. But luckily he didn't. We've already gotten the, um... Instinct work sorted, so the bonus objective is complete. Uh, we just need energy, really, and we'll be good to go. For sake of murderer, we did get some more PE boxes. We need three more in order to unlock its escape information, which I think would actually be really useful. But we need to wait until the rang's better. You've gone in there, you've gone in there. We've got one more until it becomes... Until we have another meltdown, so I'm going to have to take that into consideration. I love this music. It's really fucking good. All right, that went well, which is good. We'll wait till Papa Die's been done, so that that's okay. Send Maxwell. And we're about to have a meltdown, so let's see what's going on with that. We're nearly done for the day, actually. We only need 15 more energy, so that's good. But we still potentially have an ordeal to deal with. Doubt. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, the meltdown led to a um, an ordeal. I see. And it's that thing. Okay, what if we can join our teams, send them both down there? Ignore that one for now. If it kills the clerks, I don't give a shit. Okay, a different idea. Because if it's coming through this hallway, then we just will wait for the control team to arrive. They're stronger fighters, typically. Also, with a little bit of extra time, uh, Maxwell might be finished with what they're doing. And then we'll have an extra set of hands. Okay, so that... That thing is staying in there, so, yeah, all you... Everyone, 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 let's just get the whole map. Everyone in there, dogpile that thing and fucking kill it. Everyone get in there, everyone get in there, everyone get in there, everyone beat its fucking ass. There we go, that's one down. Okay, excellent. The next one's up there. We'll move them to the healing area and then have them sit there for a little bit just to... No. Just to get their... Fuck's sake. Just to get their health back and then we'll deal with it. And it will be good. It will be fine. Everything will be nice. We can take our time. We do this properly or we don't do it at all, right? It's over there now. No one gives a shit about the clerks. They're here to die. Who cares? I guess it can lead to further panic, but... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You're okay. Okay, that went fine. I thought you were going to get murdered. Now get in there and kill it. It did kill someone, which is better. It killed two people, actually. I did it. I did it. The day was successful. Maybe we leave it there so that more things don't go wrong. Because most of the team is panicked. They're not dead, I don't think. If they're mad. Dead for... What? So if they're panicked, at the end of the day, they die. Fuck, I didn't know that. Ah, oh, bollocks. Well, I'm gonna have to retry then. Shit. Yeah. Joel has stopped moving. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Wait, Orang does not have a high work success. What the fuck? Why? Does this apply to the amount of times the person works, the individual works with this thing? It goes down to common now 
because it's worked with Joel multiple, oh, not Joel, Orang multiple times, which means this doesn't work anymore. So Chloe has decent fortitude and she would actually be the best bet. Okay. Maybe I need to be a little more careful. God, I didn't know that. Now I've learned, right? I bet you guys are in the comments like, Foreman, it means the amount of times an individual agent has worked with them, but I didn't fucking know because I'm an idiot. I understand this. See, everything's going great now. It's always happy with people doing instinct. Forsaken Murderer is a bit more tricky because he likes, or he prefers that you switch people out and have different people go in. Maximum cliff off counter is one, so at any time he can freak out and attack people. He's vulnerable to blue, but we don't have that as a weapon. Or pale, that's pale, okay. We'll leave the Forsaken Murderer for now. I think we want to try and avoid working with it whenever possible, because it just seems like a trap. Only go in if there's a meltdown. Trying to work with it most of the time is just a bad idea. We know enough about it now to know this, which means we can actually measure our success rate when it comes to working with it, rather than just guessing, which I was doing most of the time. Repression work list, yep. Get the managerial guidelines, very good. This is very, very good. Siegfried, etc., etc. Uh, Papa Dye's going well, that's good. Old lady. Old lady seems fine. But we could send someone in there, just in case. But if all goes according to plan, Miho working with Papa Dye should get us the energy we need for the end of the day. And we'll be able to deal with the ordeal, and everything will be good. Should be. That should be how it goes. There it is. To gain an understanding of what is incomprehensible, they dream, staring. Okay. It's a different ordeal this time, for some reason. I guess it's random. We want to deal with these things as quickly as possible, because having corpses all over the place is not actually good. It's bad for mental stuff. Fucking Mio is actually doing a fantastic job down there, and I love him for it. Absolutely killing it with Papa Dye. It's very good. Okay, we send people down here to deal with this. It's a lot of blood down there. We got the energy we need. Just kill that thing. They compiled. They complied. The fruit of understanding. We did it. Okay, so I just realized that completing ordeals actually increases your energy quota, which would be very helpful if it wasn't for the fact that we already fulfilled our energy quota, so I don't actually care. But we've done it. We've beaten this day. No one's panicking. Complete the day. S rank. No one died. Excellent. Okay. I'm so sick of day seven. Let's move on. Fuck me. You have no idea how long I've been spent trying to do this alongside, like, uh, a capture breaking and, and shit like that. It's been an absolute nightmare. Okay. New abnormality. That's not a flower. Order all the employees nearby to evacuate immediately. Please eat my dreams. Blood covers the whole floor. Screams echo. People are running away. Curious. <laughs> Very curious. Let me ask you a question. What would you do if one of your subordinates who is harvesting energy from an abnormality to meet the quota, shall face certain death doing so. This is a very basic question, so I'm certain you know the right answer. I know we must continue producing the energy. But here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, if I say, uh, she's not gonna agree with me. Let's just get that out of the way straight away. But if I save the employee, they can do more work in the future, right? It's a pragmatic, and cold way of looking at it, but an employee that doesn't die today can continue to harvest energy tomorrow. You're going to disagree with me, Angela, but I don't give a shit. So simple, I cannot believe I have to remind you. Nah, fuck off. I'm your boss. It's not the other way around. The manager's role is to oversee energy production and that only. Yes, that is my reasoning. I wish I could explain it to you. You are not here to take care of the employees. By taking care of the employees, they can harvest energy. Not that I've known you for a long time, but I never took you for such a humanitarian, whatever. Lobotomy Corporation is an industry giant, and its mission to produce energy is our top priority. It's such a simple question for me, however, mayhaps not for you. No, it is a simple question. If I were human, how disappointing is what I would have said. Please do not worry, I will not make such a statement. Thanks. I am an AI, after all. Uh-huh. You've exceeded my expectations despite your first impressions. You're still rude. Allow me to explain your next. Hey, it's hard. Yes, Odd, I just heard that your team had a ton of casualties. Naturally, they didn't, because I did a good job. How many times has it been now? 
Shouldn't you be at your team's size? It looked super depressing over there, what with all of them dying and stuff. Accidents happen. I want them to understand that it's not a big fuss. Dwelling on it only encourages them to cry more, and it will eventually tire them out. But people have died. Maybe you should say something like at least some half-hearted commemorative speech to cheer the employees up. I mean, we should lead our departments and all. Perhaps your aim is different from mine, then. I see no point in being sentimental. Caring too much about the respect of employees or the little complaints they make will steer you away from what's truly important. Making fat stacks. Well, I'm just saying, I guess there's no right answer, is there? We're both busy, so I'll see you later. What do you think, manager? Should I go comfort them for the sake of the department's morale? Yes. Like, I, I understand what the game's trying to be like here. It's supposed to be cold, calculating, ruthless efficiency, but here's the thing, right? As much as the employees are tools and they are resources and should be spent accordingly, they are, unfortunately, living, breathing things. Now, if we're to take the morality and empathy out of the situation, which is obviously what we're doing here, you still need to care and nurture for them so that they will perform at their highest potential. If they're sad, tired, and depressed, they're not going to work properly, which means mis accidents are going to happen, more of them are going to die, and it's going to cost the company money. Yes, you should look after them, because if they believe in you, if they feel good about their job, they're going to work hard. They'll die to defend the place. It's really basic logic, actually. Yes, you should. I'm honestly surprised to hear that from you. You shouldn't be. I just made this fucking... Had this argument with Angela. Do you think it's realistic for you to show up in every department every single time an accident occurs? Yeah, actually, I do. It's kind of part of our job, mate. You, the man who spends a whole day incessantly watching employees die through that shiny monitor of yours? Yeah, I do, actually. I take it that you're only saying this because you're inexperienced and are still clinging on to the vague sense of goodwill, manager. I think you should just do what I say. You snotty prick. <laughs> Such shallow sympathy does no good in the corporation, so I urge you to be rid of it. I suggest you go do your job. If five insight works. Ah, that's awkward. We don't have a lot of insight on the next one. We don't have a lot of um, uh, abnormalities that react well to insight. I suppose we could probably farm well cheers for it, or even um, no sins. One sin and a thousand good deeds. Probably farm them for it. That'd yeah, probably be it. I don't know. We'll see. Ah. Oh, so the reason I couldn't see the HP is in fact actually a game mechanic. Right, I understand. I think being immediately being able to reduce their level of fear would be very handy. Yeah. Okay, so we can get another employee for the information team. Neville! 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 Come on in, Neville. Good lad. What, what an absolute G. <sighs> We've got a new abnormality to deal with. Ego list. Uh, yeah, we don't have any more weapons. Ego suits. We do have some. We'll give Neville, uh, solitude. We still don't have any weapons. I cancelled the last day because things were kind of going wrong, so... Why don't we focus on Neville? Why don't we make Neville a good, uh, SP, a prudence person? Yeah. Oh, that's too much. Okay, well, confirm. And we'll give Miho more strength. Make him a little more durable. Okay, all right. Well, we haven't had a uh, memory. Although apparently if I quit the game, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll do one more day. We'll do this day and then we'll sign off, okay? That's what we're gonna do. All right. Hopefully the capture doesn't keep crashing again. So, pause. Let's have a look at our new arrival, shall we? Oh fucking God. All right, Neville. <laughs> All right. All right, Neville. You're going in. There's always the risk of sacrifice when it comes to new, um abnormalities, but we need to find out what they're all about. Fortunately, the World Cheers actually quite likes Insight, so send Mio to go do that. But we're going to have to add, monitor what's going on with TO2 because, um, holy shit. We're going to try and leave the Forsaken Murderer alone if we can. Because that thing is a problem. Nervous. Yeah, I bet you are. Yeah, I fucking bet you are. Ah, oh, it's already a bad start. Ah, oh, Neville's going to die. Okay, so we, what we need to do in this situation... 
We need to get people down there in case TO2 reacts by um, attacking. Does it break out after a bad result or does it just kill the agent outright? That's what we need to determine. This went well. That's good. Escape information. Obviously, it's a non-escaping entity. But now we are at observation level four and we fully observed the can of world cheers. That's not going well. It might still go well, but as it currently stands, it's not going well. You've got your max. We're working with the old lady. We've got her maxed. Okay. Get them down there ready to respond if that thing breaks out because that is not going well. Neville's probably going to die, but they're a new hire. I did spend a lob point on them, so it is unfortunate, but... How would Marinelle do here? Yeah, go do some inst instinct work with, with the pup. Okay, let's see what's happening here. It's about to go wrong, so... Oh god, wait, stop, 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 stop. We're about to have a meltdown. Cancel that order. We don't need that right now. You start heading down there, just in case. Yep, Neville's died. Okay. Common instinct success. Okay. So Neville's dead. That's unfortunate. But now we need to see if um, TO TO2 is going to break out or something. So I'm guessing Neville has gone into a deep sleep and will never wake up. I'm guessing that's what's going on there. Okay. All right. Well. Everyone's got a common chance of success if doing instinct work, but that's the best we've got right now. And Orang is the most durable, so Orang's going to have to go in. All right, Q meltdown over here. That's fine. We can work with this. We can work with this. Go insight. Send Chloe. Now, is there anyone about who's not doing anything? Marinel, I want you to go down there. Also, I noticed he got the, the, the barbed crown. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. I like it. Ah, oh, you'll love to see it. Come on, Orang. You're like our best employee. Make it happen. I don't think Orang will die if he fails because he's quite durable, but it's worth being careful. Agent en route. Yep, that's going to be fine. We've nearly got all of the inside works done, and we're on our way to getting the energy. This is going to be a bad result, isn't it? Orang died as well. Does it have to be a good result? Insight is common. Attachment is high. Okay. I might restart this day because we've lost too many to that thing. All right. Yeah, let's retry the day. When I lose some of my best people because I just don't know what I'm dealing with, it's a bit like it would. It, I don't know. I get that that's kind of the point of the game, and like that's fine. But also, this is a long form thing, and good employees are hard to train. So attachment. We need someone who's good at attachment. Looks like it's going to be Anthony, but we'll look through these guys as well. Send Marinelle in. TO2 doesn't appear to break out, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll send insight work in here. Send uh, Chloe. That's still not going well. I think we're going to lose Marinel. Oh, God, we're going to lose Marinel. Oh, fucking hell. Because that last one was actually a medium result, and the person still fell asleep and never woke up. I always wanted to sleep. I just want to have a happy dream. Why are you taking them from us, man? What's your problem? Maybe attachment will mean that it won't put, put... Okay, that went well. Okay, all right, good. All right, excellent. Okay, let's check repression. It's low. Okay, but we know attachment is the way to go with that thing. I've got five, so we'll want to start checking managerial guidelines. Any employee with temperance under level two will fall asleep after working on the abnormality, never to reawaken. Wow, that's a thing. When the work was bad, the Q counter decreased, sure. Okay, and then we'll have a meltdown and it'll be fine. We'll deal with it. It'll be good. As long as it's not the Forsaken Murderer. Although we have figured out a way to deal with that thing. Okay. Oh, it's just my little buddy. One sin and a thousand good deeds. Send someone in to do insight with them. We'll send, uh, send Marinelle. Why not? 
Now, we want to keep working with uh, TO2, but we're going to have to be careful. We need someone with attachment of at least two. Go on, Mika. You can do it. I believe in you. I'm going to send people with attachment level one to go talk to the old lady, because people need to start leveling up their attachment if we're having to deal with this thing. Presumably, even if this goes poorly, she should still survive. But it might attempt to break out. Three out of five. Insight works complete. We're almost halfway towards our energy quota. Mika absolutely killed it. She is fantastic. I love her bubbly smile. What an absolute lass she is. 10 out of 10. Okay. So we can learn more about TO2, which is good. We desperately need to. When TO2 escaped, it's like put every employee who came uh, into contact with it asleep. They woke up when the manager shook them. Okay. TO2 eventually returned to its containment unit of its own volition, so leave it alone when it breaks out. Okay. Warning, attempts to suppress the abnormality will provoke it, transforming into an extremely hostile entity. The second form is designated as TO2991. And finally, TO2 occasionally cowed, dealing white da crowed, sorry, dealing white damage to an entire department. Employees who were asleep due to the abnormality's light awoke and panicked after hearing it. So it can cause an entire fucking department to panic, it seems. Okay, cool, good, all right, glad. Yeah, nice, all right. Leave it alone if it breaks out. We know this much. We've learned this much. Doubt. Okay, so we're missing two people. Doubt is a rough one, if I remember correctly. It's, the, it's like the robot things, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and they're quite powerful. Okay, well... All hands to battle stations, we're gonna have to do this carefully. Uh, may maybe don't go that way where, the, uh, where they are. Maybe go that way where they aren't, so you can all convene in one place and then deal with it safely. Although, having said that, it's gonna ambush Neville the moment he comes out of World Cheers, so... Might want to convene down there in the information department and then get ready to go after it. They're on their way over. It's very good. They're going to need to be quick, though. Neville's about to leave. Wait. Wait for it. Okay, well, yep, you're, you, you guys have got to go in now. You, there's two in there. That is the worst case scenario. No. Neville, Neville, get out. Get out of there immediately. Do not stay and fight. It will not end well for you. Okay. Uh, Anthony's nearly done. That's good. There we go. We'll wait for one of those to leave that room and it'll be okay. Um, where did Anthony go? I assume they're going back to the... This is a, yeah, going back to the department. Okay. Are you going to come through the door? Are you going to fight us? Yeah, you're going to fight us. Okay, we're about to kick your, your head in then. In a room where we, we've, we're all fully healed. Excellent. There we go. One down. One down. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Let's quickly check on this. Void Dream. It does black damage when you work with it. Okay, and it's a Teth. All right. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Get the health, get the health, get the health. And go in, boys. Take it out. Fuck it up. Clerk, I wouldn't have... I, wouldn't, I would have recommended running. I would have recommended running. Yeah, because they just killed the clerk. Oh, no. Fuck. Okay, so this is the downside to leaving the ordeals for too long. They murder too many clerks, which freaks your agents out. Theoretically, if we can get enough energy without dealing with the... Like, even if the ordeal's here, if we can send someone to get more energy and finish the day, we don't even have to deal with the ordeals. We don't get, like, a reward for it, except for the uh, Dusk ordeal after day 20. So perhaps we should just be more careful, you know. Joel's gone mad. Joel's gone mad. Where's Joel? Where did I send Joel? Over there. Everyone suppress him. I don't want him killing himself. Nice one. Good job, lads. Well done. All right. Well, can of well cheers is pretty, 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 pretty chill. We'll send Anthony in there. 
Where is the mail? Oh, it had to be this thing, didn't it? All right, information team. So we need someone with at least... There's no one. Uh, Anthony was the only one with above level one. Okay. Send Mika, and I'm going to send someone from the information team actually to the old lady. Because they need to start leveling up their attachment because they're closer to that thing. And they need to be doing a better job. Um, do we have enough for your weapon? Yeah, we do. Good. Done and done. Glad we don't have to work with Papa Die anymore unless there are meltdowns. So I'd happily flush that thing down the toilet if I could. That thing has been such a problem. I'd happily fucking send the Forsaken Murderer down there with it and all. We should be careful of this situation. Okay. Yeah, Miko was okay. All right. That was a bit of a risky, uh, that was a risky one. That was a real, real, real risky. So we need to evaluate the situation. If we can get the amount of energy and insight works that we need without dealing with the, um, ordeal, we just will. Like, I will straight up ignore the fucking thing. Get escape information and then, yeah, that increases work speed. That's good. Okay. We don't have to deal with the ordeal. We ain't gonna, put simply. That is the plan. We'll wait until we can get basic information. Just more useful. It's Dream Void, isn't it? I believe that thing is called Dream Void. Oh, I think it's Dream Void. Okay, insights. Chloe's a good fighter. Anthony is a shit fighter, I think. Oh, Neville's a pretty shit. Yeah, send Neville in there. He's not very good. We need to find out where the ordeals are going to be. The cheers for the beginning. Let us light a flame yet more radiant, but life is a candle. I don't like the look of that. I don't like the look of that. All hands, get down there. It doesn't appear to be hostile. It's just standing there. What's it doing? They're just shooting the fuck out of it. Well, get in there and kill it before it does something. There we go. Good job. Okay, now there's another one, isn't there? We may have just lucked out and gotten a real easy... He's stealing my pee boxes! What an asshole. But at least it's not killing my people. Whoa, people in here are dead. What happened? What the fuck? Everyone get, get over there, get over there, get over there and heal, get over there and heal. That is the worst ordeal ever. How many, four people died. Maxwell, Marinelle, Yui and Neville all died. That's fucking terrible. That was half the information team, well, almost half the information team, and most, and almost half of the control team as well. Fuck, man. Mika, go deal with the world shears and we can wrap this terrible day off. Old lady's doing her thing and being stupid, so fuck her, who cares. We do not want to go through that doorway anymore or we risk people going crazy, so we might just keep farming world shears until we're done. We're nearly there. Get another gun. I guess we're going to need more armor and shit, aren't we? Because we just lost it all. Fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Jesus Christ. I see what that person, someone was like, by the way, sometimes this game isn't exactly fair, and now I see what they meant. Absolutely. Because, um, uh, yeah, I just lost four people for virtually no reason. And they're all smiling. Oh. Look now, the result of your efforts before us is exactly as we needed. A perfect manager. Yeah, I feel it right now. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, I'm perfect. Yeah. All right, well, I guess we're done. Wow. Yeah, that's a C ranking. We had a 60% survival rate. That's terrible. But what can I do? I'm not retrying again.
I'm not going to just keep restarting every time something goes wrong. It is horrifically boring to do that, and I feel not really within the intended experience of the video game. Here we go again. Eventually, intellect loses all meaning as they forget even how to exist. Excessive aspiration would bring about unwarranted frenzy. The satisfaction is only temporary, though. All right. Fuck it. Let's see what we got. Manager, among these three letters of the alphabet, A, B, or C, which would you select? I'll pick A because it's my first letter of my first name. So you've picked one. Good. Now, please listen carefully. The letter A is a fascinating one. My name starts with it as well. That's true. Also ends with it. Those who choose A are sensitive to the opinions of others about them and are result-oriented people. As such, they are excellent listeners and are loved by many. People will flock to them. Why are you reading a, ho uh, a horoscope at me? This is a new pastime among the employees. I find it rather uninteresting. There is no scientific basis behind the observations, but it is admittedly a little fun to waste time with these tests. You know, maybe I could imagine whether I would have been this or that kind of person if I were human. Is it too odd for me to think about that? I don't know. The letter Z. Hmm. Zoo. Uh, ox. Hey, that's cheating. That's not a place at all. It doesn't count. Hmm. Oops, I didn't know you were here, Sephiris, odd sir. Sorry, I know we aren't supposed to slack during work hours, but he insisted we... What? You started it. You wanted to get back at me, you prick. Shut up, you dork. Fucking dork. I'll think about the appropriate response for this case later. You two, focus on your work. You're probably going to die. I'm probably going to have you executed. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, sir. Sorry. Looks like word chaining is starting to become one of the more popular pastimes here again. I'm guessing people don't have much else to do. Do you happen to enjoy word chaining, manager? Yes, sort of begins to get lost in thought. James, you know you can't enter the cell for work when your mental corruption level is above 80%. It's against the rules. I know, I know. Just this once, please. You know what happens if I fail to finish the assigned work regime? Besides, you know how Sally went in at 82% one time and came out fine, and I'm only at 81, please? Come on, what are friends for? Act so strict and the employees will end up isolating you. It'll be so lonely. Uh. Just kidding, even if all the employees were to hate you, I'll still be your playmate. You know, playmate is a really weird word. Whoops, my bad. Anyway, can I please get to work now, my lord? Yes, sod. Don't forget that I cut you some slack yesterday when we were playing Word Chain. Fine, but just this once. Make sure to take a psychological examination right afterwards. You bet, thanks. I'm gonna go die now. At times, I see hallucinations when I change my clothes. What? Through the clothing, I can see my skin covered with festering boils. Oh. Of course, my body is perfectly fine when I open my eyes. <laughs> me too, buddy. Me too. It has come to a point where I've begun to find the sight of my normal skin strange and unnatural. I cannot help but ask myself, why is my body intact? Why is it not rotting? Probably because you're a fucking AI. I've asked the other Sephiroth about those visions, but it seems I'm the only one who experiences this. Six attachment works. You know what? We were at one point pretty good at attachment works, and this will encourage us to investigate the uh, Dream Void. So that's good. Yep, expand the information team. Uh, lovely jolly. Good stuff. Yes. 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 I definitely want to display HP. I definitely want to do that, yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it here, ladies and gentlemen, because if I remember correctly, and if I understand this game, which I almost certainly don't, we should be able to continue from here next time if I quit the game. So, thank you so much for watching. We have a new... Oh, right, because I didn't identify the first... Um... I didn't identify the Dream Void this time around. And that's why it's unknown. Yeah, we have one new bot abnormality to sort out next time. I'm curious to see how the fuck that goes. Uh, casualties are relatively high, but we're doing our best. We, I feel like we're overall improving, though. Like, employees are getting stronger or, or more capable. I don't know. Everyone's HP is rather low. 
and we can't upgrade them because we're too busy trying to hire new employees. Which I'm starting to wonder if that's even a good idea, really. I think more skilled, stronger employees would be better than just having an army of chaff, because you just end up replacing the chaff every single time. Maybe I've got four lob points. Maybe I spend like one or two lob points on replacements and then spend the rest on upgrades. Like Mika could desperately do with some more health and so could Joel. In fact, it's getting to the point where the information team is actually almost stronger than the control team, which is strange. But I digress. I'm rambling. That doesn't matter. Thank you so much for watching. I'm having a great time with this game. It's fucking radical. I really enjoy it and I'm curious to see where things go. I was about to ask like for tips and stuff, but I'm not sure how many tips I honestly want. A lot of the joy of this game is in the exploration and in discovering things and figuring things out and being blindsided by horrible crap like the forsaken murderer or that dream thing. And I can retry, so I kind of find stuff out for myself and then die anyway, and then, I, you know, I learn. But, oh, I just remembered. On the subject of each um, abnormality story records, let me know if you want me to do either a little separate video, like little separate videos reading those, or if you want them as part of these videos, or if you don't fucking care. If you truly don't care, say that as well, because it's, it's still input and it still helps. Because I don't want to ignore that shit, and I'd like to try and incorporate it into the video somehow, but there's a lot there. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. But I digress. I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Whatever happens next time, and... Oh, fuck, we're going to lose more people, aren't we? I can tell. I can tell. It's just what's going to happen. But when that does happen, I hope I see you there. Toodles. Goodbye.